In this video, you're going to learn how to set up a coming soon page. This is a great feature to add to your website while you're putting it all together. And it allows you to share your website address to people. You can get some buzz going for your website. I also like the coming soon pages because then you can also get their email address. And then when the site launches, you can send out an email and you should get immediate traffic, which is also a nice little boost with Google. We'll be using SeedProd for this video. You can check out a link in the description below to get a discount for this as well. And then here are some great looking coming soon pages that people have created over the years and we'll be doing something similar. Okay, so my website looks like this right now and I don't really want people to come to this. I want them to come to a beautiful screen that will entice them to wanna come back once it's ready. So we want to set up the coming soon page here. So once we go to Seedprod and we download the plugin, we can head over to our WordPress dashboard. And what we need to do is we need to go to plugins, add new, so we can upload the plugin. So we'll click upload plugin. And you can either, if you have it down here, you can left click, drag it up there. If you don't see that on your screen, then you can click choose file and go find the plugin that you just downloaded. So we'll upload that and let's click install now. Make sure you also activate the plugin to make it live on your site. And now you'll want to paste in your license key and click check license. And then that will be for updates for the year. Great, now that we have that all set up, under settings, you'll see a new area called Coming Soon Pro. So we'll click on that so we can get it started. So right now by default it's disabled. We want to click enable Coming Soon mode and that will be turned on by default for people who are not logged in. Once I click save changes, if I go to my website and click refresh, you see I still don't see that and that's simply because I'm logged in. But as soon as I click log out and go to my website, you see the coming soon page is set up. Now we need to set this up so it looks great for our site. So I'm gonna go back, I'll need to log back in. Let's go to our dashboard so we can set everything up. So we're going to enable that. Okay, to make the changes that we need, let's go ahead and click on edit coming soon maintenance page. Now this will give us some great themes that we can choose from. These are all the ones that are our starting point. So you can scroll through and figure out which one works best for you. Do you want one with a countdown timer? And don't worry, we can make changes. We can completely change this up to match our site, how we want it to look. So I'm gonna pick this one and you'll see it comes up with a great little area where we can make all the changes that we need. So if I pick the wrong one and I don't wanna do that, then we can change this here and it'll take us back. Maybe we want to do this one. And then scrolling through, we can start changing up the content. So for changing up this area, we can click on content and change the names of it. The page name is up here when somebody is on your site, they can see that in their tab. That's the coming soon page. You can also add a logo. The headline is this here, so we can change that. And change all of this here. From here, you can change the order of all of these. If I have a logo, then that could be changed here. If I wanted my description above the headline, I can do that. So you could go through all of this and change it up here. Scrolling down, you can also add an SEO title and a description, and that would be if Google picks this up in its index, then that will be in the search results here. And then for Facebook and Twitter thumbnails, you can choose an image here. And I recommend if you want to track how many visitors are coming to your site while it's still under maintenance mode, you can add the Google Analytics code here. Under background settings, we can change that here. And so we can go, and this is kind of the great thing about this is if you already have an image, you can choose that and upload that. If you don't, you can select the stock image and there are all of these images that they're pulling in from Unsplash that you can choose from. So for instance, if you wanted to create a yard place or something like water scene. Maybe I'm creating something for the ocean. You see all the total found images and then you can scroll the way down to pick the one that will look best for you. So just pick this one. 
We want a little bit darker so we can read the items on here. And we wanted to, we can create an overlay, which is great because if you notice, there's a little bit of a difficulty reading that. So we can do the little slider here to do the overlay. And you can pick the color that we want to do the overlay as well. You can do the background cover size if you want it to be contained. You see it's in a container. If we want to make it auto, then it'll just figure it out. Or you can just do cover, which is what we initially had. If you wanted to repeat that, then you could. We're not going to do that. And we'll make it fixed. It could scroll, but that would be if we had something to scroll. You see all of these other features that you could do. You could even do a slideshow if you wanted, so you'd have to add multiple images for that. We'll keep it simple. And then here you can change the typography if you'd like to something that is better for your brand. That'll be the text font. And the text size. Same with the headline. You can also do a search for the fonts that you want, and you can change that there. And finally, we want to do the button. We'll go back with Lotto. So you can customize the whole area. Now, what's also great about this is we can also set up an email form, and we can say we want to enable this. And if we want to require the name, then it'll be required. So they won't be able to fill anything out until it's required. You can choose how big the form you want it to be. And for the subscription, you can click on the drop down, and by default, it'll create just a database on your website, which is fine in case you haven't set anything up. But if you do, then you can do something like MailChimp and configure MailChimp as well. Now scrolling down, this is the thank you message. Once they do fill it out, this is what you can say and you can customize that as well. And there are several other items you can choose from. If you want to have them do social share buttons, then we can click on that and we can choose which ones we want them to share. You can also choose where to have these social share buttons. Let's go ahead and do it on both pages. We want to get the word out on all of it. So now we have these social share buttons out there and a pin it button going under countdown timer. If you want to add a countdown timer, then you can add that here. That's if you know exactly when your website is going to go live and that's great to add a little bit of urgency for it. We're not going to add that just for this. Great. So that's looking pretty good. And what we can do here is you can actually click on it to see what it will look like, say in mobile, if you need to make any tweaks here, and then you can also see what it looks like on your desktop. That looks really pretty good. So let's click save. And now our coming soon page is live and ready to go. So you just want to play with this a little bit to make sure that everything looks exactly how you want it. We'll quickly look at element colors because I don't like that button color. So I'm going to change it to something a little bit more noticeable. So you can change that there. That's the element color. Great, and I'm happy with that look. So let's click save. And now we can go back to settings to finish this up. Now we can click save changes. And what I want to do is I'm going to copy this and open it in a new incognito so I don't have to log out. So we'll take a look and see what it looks like. So that's our coming soon page. You see it's over on the right. You can make those tweaks as well. And that's under the theme area but that's a great and easy way to do a coming soon page. So going back to the dashboard, I'm gonna show you a few of the advanced settings. There are a couple other things you can do as well. If you wanted to, by default, this is being shown on the whole website and it doesn't matter what page people go to. But if you scroll down, you can actually disable it and only show on different areas. So right now it's on the entire site. You can choose to only show it on the home page. So if they would say it went to your blog section, then that wouldn't show. You could also do exclude particular URLs. 
And then scrolling down here, you can actually give access control. And that's basically anyone who's logged in can see the actual site. And you can do this cookie based if you want. And you can also do this by people's IP address if you'd prefer. If you also just wanted to give someone a phrase and then they put in the phrase and click on bypass and then they type in the phrase, then they would have access to this as well. You have a little bit more control over who all can see your site while it's being created. So that's a great and easy way to create a coming soon page for your WordPress website. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.